And as I was talking about at the top of the show with Ed Rollins, the palace intrigue, if you would, uh, going on there between Anthony Scaramucci and, of course, Reince Priebus, the chief of staff for the president. Uh, you know, look, Jeff Sessions, meanwhile, that's another thing that people are caught up in, and he's been showing no signs of quitting despite this onslaught of public attacks from the president. Today, he flew to El Salvador on a mission to find ways to end brutal street gang violence uh, by MS-13. Also, members of the Senate Judiciary Committee are working on legislation that would keep special counsel Robert Mueller from being fired, no matter who is running the Justice Department. Uh, here to discuss all of this, we have Republican Senator, former Republican Senator Jim DeMitt, who, along with many of his former Senate colleagues, is defending sessions against Trump's attacks right now. Senator, um, it, 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 Donald Trump doesn't seem to be too happy with him right now, but you're saying you don't like the way he's going about this. Is there anything that Jeff Sessions should be doing right now to appease the president? I certainly understand the president's frustration. Uh, a, a witch hunt has been unleashed on him and his family. Uh, and uh, But on the other side of that, Jeff Sessions is probably the one in Washington who's most passionate about the Trump agenda. And he will run a Justice Department in a way that Americans will be proud of. So I hope the president and uh, the attorney general can work this out. It'd be very bad for the country right now, for the Trump administration, to have another distraction. And uh, Chuck Grassley has already said uh, no one knew would be confirmed for the rest of the year. So we would, we would have a Justice Department in chaos. Uh, they need to work this out. Uh, I know the president's disappointed, but I think they can... Um, pull this back together and, and, and work together again. Mm -hmm. Let me ask you your thoughts on uh, what's going on here with the battle that has uh, erupted between Anthony Scaramucci and Chief of Staff Reince Priebus. Mm -hmm. Anthony Scaramucci, who runs communications, newly appointed to run communications, really going on the attack on Twitter and then again on CNN, basically accusing Reince Priebus of being the leaker in this administration. Does this suggest to you that Ryan's previous days may be numbered. I don't know. Um, you know, you, it's hard to tell. I just hope that the the administration, the, they've got some great folks there in the White House, and they've been doing some good things. That all the pressure from the media and uh, the, the the folks on the outside don't don't get them to turn against each other. And uh, they need to they need to stop this stuff and do it in private. Uh, again, good people, Priebus, good guy. Uh, I'm I'm sure the the new communications director is going to do a great job. But I hope from as someone He's communicating who's, something, though, Senator, right? Well, I mean, he's he the director he of communications. Is. He's definitely communicating. But as someone who's, who supports the Trump agenda here and is trying to help uh, pull together a consensus on the Hill to get some things done, uh, I want to see the, the Trump administration move forward and get rid of these distractions. Um, would that mean getting rid of Anthony Scaramucci or at least uh, curtailing his enthusiasm to go after his colleagues? I just hope they can can get along, and uh, and and I think they will. They'll overcome this. They're a good team, and I was over there this uh, today. It's a good atmosphere. People working together. I know there's a lot of tension. I mean, they're like they're in a box canyon, Trish. Everybody's firing at them from all directions, so it's hard to work in that environment. I have a lot of empathy for that, uh, but the country's counting on them, and I think the president's doing as good a job as he can. They just need to come together and solve these personnel issues mm -hmm. and move ahead on but the, on the agenda. there's past history, right? And that's perhaps what's also contributing to this. Anthony Scaramucci was up for previous jobs within the administration, and uh, per sources, Reince Priebus was instrumental in, in making sure that he didn't get some of those positions. So you can imagine Scaramucci feels as though uh, he doesn't necessarily have an ally there in the yeah. way of Reince Priebus. But what he has done is he's really transcended the sort of issues that they would otherwise be fighting internally and brought that out into the public. Um, so here we are talking about Anthony Scaramucci and Reince Priebus as opposed to how does health care happen? Well, we've got to have health care. We've got, got to have uh, tax cuts. Newt Gingrich has it right. Let, let's, we're going to have to set aside all these wonderful reforms that we've been working on for years, get the tax rates down, get the economy going so Americans can see that conservative ideas at low taxes can make their life better. And that has to happen by Thanksgiving, and I hope they'll get busy in do, doing that. That's what they need to be communicating. That's what the chief of staff needs to be orchestrating mm -hmm. from the inside. I think they can get it done. Congress
seems to be in a mood now to move ahead a little more aggressively. So let's stay optimistic and, uh, and, and, and keep encouraging those folks to work it out in the White mm -hmm. House.